Hello, Internet. Um, some of you said that I'd pull a face, apparently, before I'd start recording. I have no idea what you're talking about. But, um, hello, and we are here. We are going to be doing some more Basil Spot Live. Um, if, if, actually, on last Wednesday's video, you said that this was your favourite Battle Spot series, then thank you very much. I do appreciate that. And um, I'm glad that um, you enjoy this content that I'm putting onto uh, the YouTube but uh, as you can see, we're going to be doing something different, um, i.e. we're going to be using a different team. Um, this is something that I, I put together and... and uh, what music shall we have? Does it really matter? Whatever. And um, it's kind of fun. Um, I mean, we've got someone, you know, reasonably highly rated to start off with. Um, I saw someone basically, um, or you know, a couple of people on Showdown a few weeks ago doing the whole dancer thing with Quiver Dance on Furamosa and... Um, the Oricorio, basically. Um, we've got the Lilligant and Torkoal combination too. And I've got Doug Trio and I've got Nihiligo as well. I think Doug Trio, aside from not really hitting very hard, which is its biggest problem and actually being very frail too, <laughs> um, it's quite interesting. Like, it's got very good coverage in the, the current meta game, I suppose. Um, and it's got a really nice speed as well. Look, I mean, like, it outspeeds Ninetales, it outspeeds Katana. Um, well, it outspeeds everything on that team, you know, barring Scars. Um, which is quite nice too. Um, Nihiligo is something quite interesting too. I, you know, I sort of identified that a combination of um, Nihiligo and um, Feromosa leading is a very oppressive lead and can work quite well too. So there's lots of modes in this team. There's the, like Dancer lead, there's the Lilligan Torkoal lead, there's the Feromosa Nihiligo lead. Um, lots of interesting things that can be going on. But let's try and do a battle and um, see what we do, what we can, uh, what we can get from this. So I'm going to go with. Nihiligo and Furamosa as the lead. That's sort of the go-to lead for this, I think. And in the back, you know, Dugtrio does look pretty good here, to be honest. I mean, obviously Torkoal looks good too, but I'm going to try and... Um, ooh, not Lilligan, Oricorio, I think. Um, we're not, yeah, I'm going to try and showcase Dugtrio a little bit. In the first video, um, come on then, Dugtrio. Let's see if we can do something. Just gonna want to sort of show off what it can do, um, you know. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll do something. Uh, just because, you know, he has got the um, nine tails. He's got, you know, lots of things slower than it. You know, it can one shot Tapu Lele, etc. Um, of course, if the Tapu Lele is scarfed, then I'm pretty sure it can one shot Dugtrio first. So that's a problem. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. So I do quite like this lead. It's quite oppressive, and we do get Arcanine nine tails, which is kind of what I was expecting. You know, I expected the nine tails. Um, I kind of expect them to lead um, Arcanine 2 just because um, the threat of Lilligant Torkoal is quite a big one. And Arcanine can just resist, you know, and Snarl, basically. So I'm expecting this Arcanine's got Snarl. That's probably why he's led with it. And, I mean, the Arcanine is pretty threatened here, to be honest, isn't it? I mean, we've got Power Gem on this Nihiligate. This Nihiligate is scarfed, by the way. Um... But how threatened is, like, this Arcanine going to feel? Is it actually going to want to stay in? Because I am, I have got a very obvious power gem here, which should one-shot it, really. So, ooh, this is, I, I just want to get rid of the Arcanine, but, I mean, he might, he can very easily just protect it. So I'm going to double into this Ninetales and try and knock it out before it gets an Aurora Veil up or, or anything annoying like that. So good, the Arcanine is switching out. Um, Muk's coming in. So everything so far, Dugtrio looks pretty good against. Ninetales protect too, so that's... That, yeah, okay, that's annoying, but... And he has now seen that the Nihiligate is scarfed as well, so... Um, there's some information for you, Mr. Opponent. Um, I, I would like to, I mean, yeah, again, Dugtrio in the back looks quite nice and everything, but I'd like to get rid of the, um, Sash, presumed Sash, on this, uh, Ninetales. And, I mean, what else could he have in the back that Dugtrio wouldn't like? It's just really the, um, type of Fini, I suppose, or the Katana. Um, Muk. I mean, Muk. You can't one-shot either of these Pokemon. I mean, I suppose a Poison Jab would, would one-shot the Feromosa, actually, but... Um, I'm just going to Power Gem the Ninetales, and... Just just to get the Blast off, all-out pummeling into the Muk. I mean, it will activate its Berry, and it'll come back up to probably about 70% or something, but... Um, we're weakening it for a potential uh, Dugtrio sweep, basically. 
That's what I'm thinking at the moment. So, could have knocked out the Nine Tails. But, um, yeah, I mean, focus. who would have thought, you know, using Focus Blast in VGC? Here we go. So, Focus Blast turns into a base 190 all out pommeling. This will do probably about 80%, 75, 80% to the muck. I think. Yeah, yeah. And the very, yeah, takes it back up to about 60% there. 60, 65%. So Lizard, okay, so no Aurora Veil actually. So maybe I am going to be losing one of my Pokemon this turn. Ooh, that knockoff actually did more damage than I thought it would to the, um, uh, to the Nile League. But uh, not, not to worry too much because both of these Pokemon are very definitely in um, Earthquake range now. So I'm just going to put Dugtrio straight back out. If he brings Arcanine in for the Intimidate, he's going to be taking an Earthquake. So I would imagine one of these will protect here and um, the other one will just let go down. So I'm going to Earthquake, obviously. And put the Oricorio in so that I can actually Earthquake. So we've seen the lead there with um, Nihiligo and Feromosa doing a little bit of work. And now this is sort of like the different like pair, a different mode of the team. Uh, Dugtrio and Oricorio that can, you know, Earthquake and Revelation dance through too. In, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see. If, um, I mean, so the two things that Dugtrio weren't very good against were the Tapu Lele and the um, Katana. So Oricorio obviously can hit the, the um, Tapu Lele for super effective damage. Is this the Arcanine coming in? Yeah, it is. So Intimidate, not too much of a problem. Um, it, ooh, it might have a Citrus Berry, this Arcanine, so it might actually survive um, two Earthquakes. That could be a problem. Um, yeah, so there's, there's a Protect. So actually, it doesn't let any of these Pokemon go down this turn. Um, and the uh, Katana, just to finish off what I was going to say. Um, can't one-shot Oricorio, so you know it's going to do a decent chunk of damage. So let's have a look at this then. Arcanine, no Citrus Berry, I don't think, yeah, no Citrus Berry, good, so again, we can just freely go for an Earthquake here, I mean, I'm intimidated, okay, but Arcanine, as we can see, is going to go down, Muck should go down as well, so, looking good, so, Earthquake, and Muck, just in case Muck survives, um, I will target that slot, with um, an attack, obviously. If I think it's worst case scenario, if I think Finny, then I'm going to go for a Revelation Dance. Worst case scenario, I think it's Katana, I'll go for an Air Slash. Um, just because um, if it's a Finny, I can outspeed it in the next turn and Revelation Dance it. Um, I'm going to Air Slash it, because if it is a Katana, then I'll just get an extra chunk of damage off. So I'm going to Air Slash. I know it is 5% less accurate than Revelation Dance, but um, just on the off chance. Okay, it's just going for a last ditch extreme speed there. Okay, and a Shadow Sneak too. Okay. Well, Oricorio should survive this. Yeah. Okay. So, he's put the Oricorio into range of an attack from the um, Katana now. So maybe it's Katana in the back. Ninetales is obviously down to its Sash, so Dugtrio will just outspeed it and knock it out. Dugtrio, as we can see, has got the... Um, the life orb there. Unfortunately, Oricorio can't dance by itself. Um, I suppose if I had Tailwind, I could have, could have gone for a Tailwind there, but I've gone for Taunt on this Oricorio, uh, just because there are some things that this team just loses to straight away, and Hard Trick Room is one of them, so at least Taunt on Oricorio is is something that I can, um, something that I can, uh, you know, at least give me, give myself a few more options with. Um, is an Earthquake and Revelation Dance going to knock out this Tapu Fini? Because if I don't think it will, he's probably going to protect his Ninetales and go for like a Muddy Water. I have got a Fromosa in the back too, so this, this is not over by a long way. This is still a little bit sticky actually. Um, I suppose what I could do here is... Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw Dugtrio into Fromosa. And I'm going to protect with Oricorio and hope that 
he does knock out my Faramosa here. I'm hoping that his Ninetales doesn't go for an Aurora Veil and does protect here too. Oh, there's no protect. It just goes for the business. Okay, so good. So at least I am losing the Faramosa there. But this resets the um, the attack drop on the Dugtrio, basically. And he does go for the Muddy Water as well. Okay. And the Hail stops, which is nice. So, come on, Dugtrio. With your, your full rampant attack back to its mighty, mediocre best. And yeah, no reason not to. I mean, I need to. I need to attack the Nine Tails with Dugtrio here. So it's either an Earthquake or a Rock Slide. Earthquake obviously does more damage to the Tapifini, and Revelation Dance, which is electric, will go into the Tapifini as well. So we'll see if the combination of these attacks knocks it out. Um, Nine Tails does protect as well, which is interesting. I think Revelation Dance should knock it out here. If it doesn't, a Muddy Water is probably going to knock both of my Pokemon out. So it comes down to, can you do this, Oricorio? Oof, yes, it, it has. Uh, this Oricorio, by the way, has got the uh, Magnet on it. So Revelation Dance is extra boosted, which is lovely. And uh, yeah, Doug Cherry did something, which, <laughs> which is nice. Um, when I saw the couple of people like testing around with the, the whole dancer thing, um, their versions were more um, oriented towards the dancer. So Formosa had Focus Sash on it, and Oricorio had the flying Z Crystal, so that it could do the um, devastating skydive or whatever it is, um, and uh, like do a massive chunk to something at a plus one. But um, this um, isn't, I suppose, you know, isn't as ori uh, oriented towards the um, the um, the dancer mode, but it does mean that Feromosa and Nihiligo is a very good lead, um, very oppressive lead as well with the all-out pummeling option. Um, without all-out pummeling, that lead isn't quite as oppressive, I don't think. But we find someone else from Japan. Obviously, um, this is the uh, the time of day for Japan, and um, I'm going to make a prediction. I think I'm going to lose this game because. <laughs> The other thing that this team pretty much automatically just loses to is um, a, a, a Tailwind turn one. <laughs> and they've got the um, Talonflame. That's what it's called, isn't it? So, yeah, that's not good. Um, yeah, I'm imagining... I'm imagining... It's going to lead with Talonflame and something. And uh, I'm not really going to be able to stop the Tailwind, am I? Um, with Nihiligo being choice locked, I can't protect and... Um, you know, help myself in that way either. Now, obviously, it does just threaten the um, Fromosa with a Brave Bird too, if I'm going to go that way. Hmm. What do we think? I think I think I will go with Nihiligo and Fromosa. Um, but I think I want Oricorio in the back here. And I think I want Dugtrio as well again, actually. So... I mean, the Talonflame is a problem, so Lilligan Torkoal doing nothing in this uh, this particular episode, but, um, yeah, Doug Trio, um, threatened by Talonflame. Yeah, Talon, yeah, that's what I was going to say, isn't it? Talon, Talonflame has been, you know, vastly overlooked, um, just because everyone uses Arcanine, this guy's even got both of them, but um, Talonflame, I do still think, even though Gale Wings is obviously not as good as it used to be, I do still think Talonflame is a very good Pokemon, so, um, you yeah, know, maybe more of a supporter now than... Um, like Life Orb, Brave Birder, but um, we'll see. I mean, you know, I've seen Focus Sash on Talonflame, obviously with um, Tailwind. I suppose you could put Will-O-Wisp on it as well and um, you know, do, do all, all that sort of stuff. Um, I mean, he might be tempted. Like, this is part of the reason why I led like this is because I'm hoping that he's going to be tempted to just Brave Bird my Furomosa turn one because... Um, you know, and not Tailwind, because obviously Feromosa do often carry Ice Beam. Um, I suppose, like, from his perspective, I could be having a, a Focus Sash, so maybe he will Tailwind. Um, I'm not sure. But I'm definitely going to power Gem, the Talonflame here, and I think I'll just protect here. I suppose he could do the, the, the flying Z move, if he has got it. The devastating... Nosedive, or whatever it's called. 
Um, but he does Brave Bird into the Throw Motor, which is good. Okay, Power Gym. If there's no Focus Sash here, I might be losing my... Oh, there's a Focus Sash. That's a shame. Uh, that's a big shame, actually. Um, I might be losing my Nihiliga here, but... Um, that would have worked out quite nicely for me, because... If his Tunnel Flame had gone down, I could have Ice Beamed his Garchomp the next turn and been alright. But... We've just... Yeah, we've, we've turned from... What it's just a focus sash, isn't it? Turned from what could have been a really good turn into a into a pretty bad turn. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put <laughs> gonna put Doug Trio in, and the problem is Tunnel Flame is faster than Doug Trio, so he can um, Brave Bird first. He can still uh, Flare Blitz actually too. So it's not looking good. I'm gonna go for a Rock Slide because that does give me a flinch chance on the Garchomp, and I'm gonna bring the Oricorio in. Um, hoping that he will go for the uh, Brave Bird onto that slot, just because um, the Thermometer did protect last turn. He's probably he's probably playing the game of where's the Focus Sash, because like half the members of this team could probably do with a Focus Sash. Doug Trio and Thermosa, Nihiligo, um, Lilligant, which has actually has the Focus Sash. So I don't know. I think this is going to be a very quick and um, very unfortunate, very sad game. But oh, Doug Trio is actually faster. Well, if I'd known that, I hope I get the flinch here. If I'd known that, then I could have just ice beam the Garchomp. So please, Doug Trio, do your do your magic. Ah, no magic. Okay, so we've got we've got our two dancers now versus three Pokemon versus the rest of their team. Hmm. So we know that Garchomp isn't scarfed, which is nice. Um. Hmm. I mean, we've got rid of the talent plane, which is always nice, isn't it? But I don't know. Yeah, we're not we're not in a brilliant position. I mean, obviously the game's not over yet, but um, well, we'll have to see what he's got, I suppose, won't we? It's Katana. Hmm. Okay. He might expect the Focus Slash on my Feromosa then. So, so he might double into it. So I'm going to protect my Furomosa here and go for... Ah, uh, what can I do here? Hmm. Okay, or actually what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to hope that his Katana isn't um, Focus Sashed. And go for the, an all-out pummeling onto it. Because unless, I don't know. Like, like an Earthquake's not going to knock out my Pheromosa. I'm not sure on the calculation of um, like a Dragon Claw into the Fromo, so that probably would knock it out. Um, but I just need to hope this Katana isn't focused last year. It probably is. Um, I mean, I was thinking about doing a few things, but I think he's, I think he is going to be targeting the Fromo this turn. Um, that's going down quite slowly, and it went all the way down. Ooh, okay. So if Fromo survives this turn, then we might not be looking too bad. And this Dragon Claw into the Pheromosa. Okay, so that's probably going to knock it out. Uh, it does. Yeah, okay, so that's that's unfortunate. Um, and I had to do that. Okay, so I was thinking... There were a few things that I could have done that turn. Um, I did think he was going to target into the Pheromosa, though, which he did do. Um, I was thinking maybe, like, protecting with the... Um, with the Oricorio and... Um, quiver Dancing, because then... Because then you can Quiver Dance behind your Protect with a Dancer. Um... But again, that would hope that he wasn't targeting into the Fromos, and I just, I knew, I, yeah, I kind of knew that he was going to. So, um, I mean, Oricaria, it protected that turn. I mean, what could it have done? Got an air slash onto the Garchomp, that's it, really. Uh, maybe if it had Hidden Power Ice on the Oricario, and an Expert Belt, maybe, then we might be in a different position now. But, yeah, this game's over now. Um, I'm going to Revelation Dance into the Tapafini. Um, I mean,. Uh, uh, if he, even if he doesn't have Rock Slide, like a Dragon Claw is going to do, you know, a lot of damage to uh, the Oricorio. 
So, uh, yeah, this game's over now. So, you know, slightly unfortunate that we've lost this second game, but, you know, at least we got to see Doug Trio do some work in the first game, which is wonderful, isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of frustrating, but it was that Talonflame. It just put too much pressure on this. If I, like, if this was a best of three, um, obviously I would know that Talonflame was slower than the Doug Trio, and that was, that was huge. Um, like, if, if I had that information, when I brought the Doug Trio in, I could have just Rock Slide and Ice Beamed, and I'm pretty sure the game would have been mine at that point. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things, isn't it? You know, Battle Spot is best of one, so you don't get to learn this sort of information. I suppose, you know, I've got, um... A, a battle spotty sort of team as well with my Scarf Knight Ligo too, so I can't complain about that sort of stuff. It's it's just how it is, isn't it, on Battle Spot? So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you're looking forward to seeing some more games from this. Um, like this is the first time that I've been using this um, in game, um, as opposed to on Showdown. So I'm looking forward to doing some more as well and uh, seeing what the competition's actually like on Battle Spot. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. Stay tuned for um, Wednesday's episode coming up. Um, I have been doing it sort of three a week. Um, which I hope you don't mind, um, you know, I hope you can sort of see the pattern, so uh, thanks a lot for watching guys, uh, please like and share and do a lot, and um, goodbye for now.